force of friction here a boy has rolled a ball on the floor why does the ball first slow down and then stop apparently no external force was applied on the ball it is the force of friction that has slowed down the speed of the moving ball in other words we can say that the rolling ball must have experienced a force that opposed its motion we call this opposing force exerted by the floor on the ball as the force of friction hence it is quite clear to us that the force of friction acts opposite to the direction of the motion in the picture the boy is pushing a heavy box and trying to move it from right to left by applying a little force the box does not move at all he now increases the force and the box has started moving this has happened when the force applied by the boy on the box is greater than the opposing force of friction hence we can easily conclude that the force of friction always opposes the motion of an object what causes friction friction basically is contact force friction is caused due to the interlocking between two surfaces in contact even those surfaces which appear very smooth have a large number of minute irregularities on them irregularities on the two surfaces lock into one another this means that smoother a surface is the lesser will be the friction on it Let us perform an activity. Take a book. Place it on the table. Give a gentle blow on it through your hand. What do you observe? The book moves a little and then stops. Why? This is because friction occurs between the book and the surface of table where the surface of the table opposes the movement of the book.